Hi Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome to your Why Do You Feel Such a Strong Connection tarot reading. This is for those that are feeling a very strong connection to someone around them, same sex, opposite sex, whether you're married, single, courting, dating. This is just to explore why you feel so strongly connected to this person. Let's get straight into it and starting off with Gemini. Gemini, why do you feel such a strong connection to this person? Okay, you've had a few cards flip over. What do we have? We have... Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Emperor, and the Temperance card. Okay, let's start off with the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone you can relate to on a very emotional basis here. The Ten of Pentacles indicates familiarity with this person. So this person could remind you of someone that was very close to you in your childhood or someone that you grew up with or maybe a friend, but this person feels very familiar to you. It almost feels like they're family or they could be part of your family. Now, for some of you, this could indicate that this person has been around you in a past life connection with the Temperance card and the Ten of Pentacles. This is possible. So for those, the reason why you're feeling such a strong connection, Gemini, is because there's so much familiarity because you might have already crossed paths with this person before there's the two of cups that we have here so this is alchemy your paths might have crossed in a previous life so this is familiarity because you feel this person is in the in the physical sense this person may resemble someone you maybe once knew or someone that you've held very deep but I feel as though there's familiarity with this person so there's obviously this that's drawing you closer to them now, the Three of Swords here could indicate that they, this person is or carries uh, pain or heartache similar to you. So I think for some of you, there's it's almost like a Cupid because you see the swords in the heart. So for some of you, I feel like you're very smitten with this person. So I feel like there's a very strong emotional and mental connection with this person here. I also feel like you relate to them because in some aspect, either through past pains or hurts or traumas, you relate to this person in some way. And this you might not even know what this person's past is or the, the pain that they carry or the anxiety or the depression they carry or maybe if they are carrying some sort of sadness or heartache here. And you're relating to this. This is on a more subconscious level rather than consciously because for some of you, this connection is from afar and you haven't been able to explore it further. Or some of you have. For some of you, there's a third party situation here. So there's the element of this person can be a potential soulmate and you could potentially have a life with them also, Gemini. So I think this is what some of you have been thinking about doing because this is coming up with the Three of Swords here. Now you also have the Emperor card here. So for some of you, you see them as your Emperor. Now whether you're female and this is a male coming in, whether you're male and this is a female coming in, but this energy here is this is someone that you're a little bit intimidated by. But at the same time, you're very intrigued by them because they have an air of mystery around them. And this is what's keeping you on your toes, Gemini. This is what's keeping you really interested. But I also feel like there's a nurturing side to this person. And this is why you're drawn to them. Because they have a benevolent energy, a nurturing energy. And this person, it's in their nature to take people under their wing and be a guide and a mentor. And I think you really appreciate their intellectual nature, their wisdom in life. They're life learned, they're wise, they've experienced a lot. And I think this is something that's really drawing you closer. And for some of you, you definitely see them as an emperor. So someone that is very influential. Um, again, there's, there's a mystery, an air of mystery around them. But I think this is what's drawing you closer, Gemini. I also feel like they could resemble, again, someone in your family. Again, familiarity or someone that you, you know, grew up with, you grew very close with, or say, for example, they hold the same belief or traditions as your family, but there's very strong, a very strong notion of familiarity here. And then you have the temperance card. So for some of you, there is a wonderful spiritual soulmate or twin flame connection with this person, and this is why you're drawn to them. It's alchemy. So you see that some of these people have come into your life for a reason. There's a reason why this person has come up. In particular, you know, you have earth energy, you have air here, you have the emperor. So you have Aries and you have Sagittarius. 
So for some of you, if you are dealing with these signs, this could be indicated that this is a soulmate or a twin flame um, and you share an unspeakable spiritual connection that goes much deeper than surface level. And I feel as though this is potentially bringing you closer because I feel like there's a past connection here with this person. Whether they're from your past in this life or whether you've had a past life with this person, I think this is why they're coming in because you've shared this with them. You've shared this wonderful connection with them and this is why you're feeling it. So for some of you, this clarifies why you're so connected to this person. Let's have a look at Libra now. Why do you feel so drawn to this person? Why do you feel such a strong connection? Libra, why do you feel such a strong connection? Okay, very strong physical uh, physical and sexual attraction with this person. For some of you, I think you like the attention they're giving you um, or you like, not that it's mind games, but it's, it's sort of like a cat and mouse energy here with the devil card. And I think for some of you, there's a lot of temptation around this person. Now, it doesn't mean you have to partake in affairs because the devil card can represent, you know, this strong sexual energy. So for some of you, there's no doubt that there's a very strong sexual attraction to this person. However, I feel like you're attracted to something that they're doing and it could be their allure. It could be something about the way they carry themselves, the sexual energy they exhibit. And I think this has you very, very interested. I also feel like for some of you, it's like they have you under their spell. And it's unspeakable. You can't really explain it in terms because it's just, you just feel so linked to them, especially on a physical level. There's a very strong physical connection between the two of you that you're feeling with the devil cards, possibly a strong Capricorn for some of you as well, but it's the, it's more a sexual attraction here. Okay. But you also have the Knight of Cups and this is emotion. And it's also a bit of a challenge. You see the land he's walking towards. It's arduous. It's coming from barren land and it's coming into something more challenging, something that's more deep and meaningful. So I think for some of you, the attraction lies because you're enjoying the challenge in a way, Libra, if that makes any sense. You're enjoying the conquest. You're enjoying getting to know this person on an emotional basis is what I'm seeing. And I almost feel like, they're more emotionally complicated, and this is why you're attracted to them, Libra. This has you very drawn to them. I feel like they're emotionally more mysterious, and this has you feeling um, certain ways. Okay, for some of you, it's a twin flame soulmate connection here with the lovers card. But before I move into this again, the people are nude. Very strong physical attraction, looks, sexuality appearance, mannerisms, charm, physical attributes is very strong here. But for some of you, there's a soulmate or twin flame connection with this person. They mirror you in a lot of ways and you've been brought together by a higher power here, the angels, the gods, the universe. So this is powerful for a lot of you. The lover's card, this could indicate a new relationship could form with this person or this person has come into your path explore the notion of a new relationship so for those that are coupled or married or even dating or you're single this connection that you feel here could be a very a potentially very strong and beautiful relationship together but I feel like you mirror each other and they feel the same way I feel like they're mirroring what you're feeling so there's um reciprocity here in the cards with the lovers card this is beautiful though for some of you very strong connection with this person definitely a past life connection for some of you six of cups this is beautiful especially if you're dealing with a gemini the six of cups with the lovers card this is someone that makes you feel like a child again this is someone that reminds you of your childhood in some way there's nostalgia with this person libra so I think you fantasize about this person quite often, whether it is sexually, whether it is, you know, trying to get them into a relationship, whether it is imagining the two of you together, connected together, possibly. But I think there's a very strong connection here with the Six of Cups between the two of you that denotes a past life. 
but it's also purity. To some of you, I get the notion that you could make this person feel pure. And that's not to say they're impure. It's to say that maybe they're, it's a more physical attraction. But you feel deep down that if you explore this connection further, you could. It, there's a childlike innocence to this person is what I'm getting with these two cards here. Because this could be the exterior um, and the physical attributes. But this is something more deep and meaningful here. Because they make you feel open. They make you feel giddy. They make you feel like you're learning more about yourself and about your emotions and about who you are as a person. So I think they're teaching you a lot, to be honest. But I think you you like this adventure. You like the journey because you're constantly learning and evolving. And, and that for you, the, the mental stimulation and interaction is very important and it's certainly very appealing. Let's have a look at Aquarius now. Why do you feel such a strong connection, Aquarius? Why do you feel such a strong connection to this person? Why are you so drawn to them? Okay. They keep you on their feet. They're guarded. And this is a bit of a challenge for you, Aquarius, because you enjoy the conquest. And you're also, as an air sign, very intrigued by a bit of mystery. So I think there's something about this person that's guarding them. That's They're guarding themselves. And in, in turn, it's making you feel very, very interested in them, in what they have to offer. There's a defensiveness about them. They shut themselves off, but this brings you closer to them. So this is why you keep moving forward and forward and forward with each other. It's also that some of you could be very guarded. The roles could be reversed. Some of you could be very um, guarded in how you approach this, this person. And again, this is what's making the relationship quite heightened and this connection quite heightened. It's also like the forbidden fruit for some of you as well. Maybe if you're single uh, or even if... Um, Sorry, maybe if you're married or you're seeing someone and there's the notion of you can't explore the relationship further because, say, for example, you're coupled up with someone else or you have a career or your plans are to move overseas and you can't exactly have that opportunity in front of you. I think this is really, really appealing uh, for you. Okay, the Eight of Wands. This is synchronicity. There's signs around this person, repeating numbers, things that they say, things they like, things they do, and it's shaping up to a bigger picture here Aquarius and you're picking up on the signs and the symbols and you're wondering why you keep seeing repetitive things around them they might say something often uh, they might have angel numbers around them for example but I think this there's signs and synchronicities around this person I also feel like they're sending you um, flirtatious messages of some kind whether this is conscious or uh, subconscious whether it's subliminal messages they're sending this to you and this is this is how this has you hooked Aquarius but I think it's more to do with signs and symbols around this person it also speaks of passion and lust towards them as well and I think this is why you're feeling so intrigued is because they're guarded but yet there's symbols or you're guarded and you can't pursue anything further or maybe you know it the timing is off right now, but it's something that is coming together, is unfolding with your with the steps here. Okay, and then you have the Eight of Swords. There is a lot of mystery around this person, around this connection here, and I think it's quite exhilarating. I think you're fearful, but at the same time you're exhilarated about this person. For a lot of you, you can't explore this relationship further or this connection further for one reason or another. And my guess that is it may be have it might have something to do with your relationship status. I also feel like this person might be very adventurous or very, you know, have a little bit of a, an element of being quite dangerous, and you're you're a little bit fearful to go there, but at the same time you find it irresistible, which is quite interesting because you can't approach it further. Or you're, you've never experienced a connection like this before and you're fearful of what may come of it is what I'm seeing here. But it's almost like this person doesn't prepare you for anything. They, they surprise you in a lot of ways and you're not ready to accept. I guess not, not that you're not ready to accept it, Aquarius. I just think you're, you want to explore this, but you're scared is what I'm seeing here. Okay, the Hierophant. Very strong religious or spiritual connection with this person. You have a lot of common interests here, 
commonality, common goals, ambitions, aspirations, possibly, with the Hierophant. It could be that some of them are married or they're coupled or they're in the public eye or this energy that they have about them just draws people in. They're very intellectual as well, though. I feel like they're specialized in something, um, especially intellectually. So they say, for example, that in their job, they could be a specialist or they could be they could be very knowledgeable about something that you find very interesting. And I think this connection is what's carrying you together. Um, you also see marriage potential in this person. So you find them to be very paternal or maternal, very nurturing or they would make a good partner. So for some of you, there's marriage here. So for some, the, the connection that you have with a person right now, maybe if it's a Taurus there's or an earth sign, there's possibility that the two of you might get married. So this connection is definitely worth exploring further because there's two keys here. It's like the keys to the relationship from the both of you. You hold the keys to this connection. So this is quite exciting. But look, I will leave it at that. It's been a wonderful reading. Thank you so much for joining me, Air Signs. I hope it's been enjoyable. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.